Welcome everybody to my updated Cowfight Queen Guide of 2023. I'm going to keep it short and sweet so you can learn all the facts without any of the crap. Starting off, you've got the Keras Partisan of uh, Breaching. It, the normal Keras works fine or any other crush weapon, but the Keras is best for this situation. And then you have uh, the Slayer Helmet because, well, Cowfight tasks are so common that there's no point killing the Cowfight Queen without one. And then I've maximized my accuracy and strength bonus on uh, the rest of my gear with a light bearer ring, making this much easier. And most slippers because they are obviously best in slot. Over in the inventory, we have the Dragon Warhammer, and then we got Arceus Thrall's Spellbook. Uh, the rest of your inventory, you can just fill it with shit. You might notice that I don't have a range set up. No Blowpipe, Missouri, or Crystal Armor uh, with a Bofa. That's because my method is unique, and it actually, I was doing this on stream, which I stream here five days a week on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss it, so you can see the progression of the number one group Iron Man team prestiged. Back to what I was saying. It's been recently brought to my attention that people don't realize you don't have to range the second phase of Cowfight Queen. Her prayer is a false prayer. It only reduces your accuracy. It doesn't actually reduce or negate your damage. So you can melee her entirely. I find this method you're relying more on prayer and being able to shift click under NPCs like this, which is a rune light setting. I don't know how to set it at the moment. I'll, I'll, if I can be bothered, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. That is my method as opposed to bringing a range setup along with Venge to be able to get out as much damage as possible. So without further ado, Jew being the keyword, of course. I'm gonna teleport to my house quickly so I can have a quick sippy sippy at the pool and go to. Fuck. Shit, wrong code. And go to the desert. Now, obviously, I don't mind this grind considering I've done all my achievement diaries because you absolutely should be prioritizing your diaries when you're playing this game. If you don't, you're just a coward and you're not really gonna get anywhere. You're gonna be complaining about the grind forever. Squeeze through here. Some people say get anti poison. I am not a pussy. So I'm just gonna run straight past this big boy. And I uh, hope I don't get poisoned. Run straight down. No poison. Awesome. In we get. Now, cow fight queen. We're going to super combat. Sippy sippy. Put on the, what is it? Dragon Warhammer. Preserve. Piety. Prey mage or range. It doesn't really matter. Smack her. We got the spec instantly. I'm going to spec her twice. But really, all you're going to do now is just shift click under her. Shift click and walk under her and just chill. Okay? And then, now normally a good indicator without thralls is to... Uh, wait for her health bar to disappear, then you can come out and attack her again. Um, but when the Thrall is attacking, she her health bar is always there. So the best way, I don't even know how long it is. I just kind of wing it and I, I, I know the timing. It's okay to wait too long. Look at that, we just hit 150. We just hit 150 with this boy! That's a big boy! So she's coming out straight away. So... What I'm gonna do is um, attack and then shift click straight under. Now there's other methods where you can like lure her over to the entrance and then get the big boys and the little ones that come out to block her. But the beauty of um, Jagex allowing cheat client plugins to be legally part of Runelight means you can just do this all day and when you're ready, just left click and then shift click back under and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna let the throttle disappear so you can understand the timing of what I mean a bit better. I'm gonna wait for the help, I'm gonna attack her now. All right, and I'm gonna hide under. Then wait for the help bar to disappear. And the, the minions eventually just start blocking her in the corner anyway, so doing something like this isn't too bad. Health bar's disappeared, click, run back under. And you just do that the whole time. You can't do it with ranged or mage on any monster because ranged or mage doesn't allow you to flinch, but with melee, health bar's out, the minions have now blocked her. This will happen pretty much every kill uh, where the minions will just come out. Now she just stands there and looks pretty, and we just sit here and hit shitty. Like that, zero. Summon another Thrall, turn off your protect, uh, protect from mage, Drink a prayer pot and just sit here smacking it. This is pretty much it. This is how you get the kill, boys. Nothing else you need to know about the cowfight queen. Uh, she better give me the pet. Or I'm gonna be pissed. Let's find out. Ah! Easy game. Give me the pet. Fuck. People need to start giving the cowfight queen more credit for its drop tower because it's really not that bad. You get a consumable roll and a normal drop, and you can get 25 noted snapdragons, tour stalls, rainar, toe flax. You get up to two prayer pots sometimes. You get some good money from this boss. It's not the most convenient or the most fun or the most profitable, but it is still definitely a good boss. Stand under, summon the throw, dragon will hammer on. And that's how you do the kill, boys. I'm gonna wrap up the guide there because it's pretty straightforward. Stand here, wait for her to uh, just chill out for a bit, let the throw do a bit of damage. After like three attacks from the throw, it's pretty, oh, she just melted me, okay. Wait for the throw to attack like three times, maybe even on the fourth attack from the throw is a good indicator to look at stepping out and giving her a Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Thank you for watching. My name is King Condor, and I approve this message. Make sure you come to the live streams here on YouTube five days a week. If you don't, something's wrong with you. Fucking grow up here. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn. Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge.